or what is going on everybody welcome back to a, a video i guess because this is not going to be a series or nothing now before this starts i'm just going to make it clear 2k is not going to be a main part of this channel no more nor is a consistent schedule apparently we'll, we'll see in the future but as of right now no i did get a new webcam it's it's not 720p no more it's actually hd um but we are gonna be playing 2k today but don't expect my career content very consistently i want to do more let's plays you know more like sports recap kind of videos and um videos with my boys like the back for blood videos so i want more stuff like that but today we are going to be doing a irl pack and rebuild i guess you would call it something like that you you, you guys probably seen this before but i have two of these packs actually i'm only going to use one though of these um panini 2020 2021 nba trading cards if you see me look over there uh it's because i'm looking at the camera let's see if it's actually picking it up so we're just gonna get straight into it so leave a like if you guys do enjoy scrap guys are new i'm gonna try and upload as much as i can but i guess i'll open the first pack oh by the way i'm gonna pick there's 15 in this pack all right i'm probably only gonna pick 10 players i am, am gonna rebuild the team if it's not op but i'm only gonna pick 10 players and i have to choose at that point like if i pull a card i need to choose if i want that player or not so i might open both these packs just because so we'll see anyways let's get into it all right i'm not gonna look at it i'm gonna open the cards from the back so i got them right here the first card we are going to get is a rookie anthony edwards all right solid uh do i want Ant? he's probably got good trade value I think we're going to take Anthony Edwards with our first pick. I'll put him on the right side of my microphone. The players I won't take will be on the left side. So the next player is going to be Tyrese Maxey. Another, oh, I dropped it. Another really good player, but I'm not going to take him. He's not going to have that much value. He would, he'd be off the bench, and even then he wouldn't do much. So I am going to put Tyrese Maxey to the side. Our next player is going to be Jeremy Grant. These cards are actually good looking, ain't gonna lie. Um, but Jeremy Grant, probably not gonna take him to be honest with you. He he wouldn't start honestly if we're re we're looking for a championship team. He's not gonna have good trade value. His contract's not bad. It's like 19 mil. But Jeremy Grant, I am not going to take. The next card, another really young player in his second year, Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony, point guard for the Magic, like shooting guard. They have a million guards on their team. But another player that's three in the row, I'm not going to take. Not much trade value, even though I think he's up to like an 81 in 2K now. He's been having a really, really good season, but I'm not going to take him. Just not enough value, and he's not going to contribute much besides maybe off the bench. Maybe I'll trade for him. We'll see. Next player, another really young player. That's what these all apparently are. Killing Hayes. That's a hard no. That's a hard, hard no. He did not have a good rookie year. He's, not, he's barely playing in his second year. So I'm going to pass. I don't even know what player this is. Donovan Mitchell. That is going to be a definite yes. Donovan Mitchell is a beast. He is going to be our star player at the moment. We, I don't know if he's going to get traded. He might. He might not. But Donovan Mitchell, we pick up. We have two players now. Our whatever card is going to be Oneku Akongru. I might have butchered his first name. One Onekia? I'll cut that out. Okongu is going to be the next player, and I'm not going to take him. Kind of the same situation. I feel like a broken record here. Really good, promising player. He's been really playing really good this season for the Magic. Not the Magic. The Hawks. Um, starting while Clint Capello has been hurt. But I'm not going to pick him, but he's really promising. They said they said he was going to be the next Bam Adebayo coming out. That's actually a sick card design. Next player is going to be Jay Sean Tate. Jay Sean Tate. Solid, solid. I think it was... Was he undrafted? Or was he a second round pick? He was undrafted and playing undrafted. He's been amazing. His rookie year and his second year. I, I'm not sure. I don't think he's taking a slump. I think he's been playing about the same, if not slightly better. Because they do play him at the power forward more than the small forward. I'm not going to take Jay Sean Tate. We're getting a lot of not so hits. I might have to open up that second pack. Our next player is going to... Ooh, this is a nice card. It's going to be Kyra Lewis Jr. Point guard for the New Orleans Pelicans. I believe he's not starting. But he is another promising player that I am not going to take. 
he's just not going to fit the team. He's not a star player. He's not like a top rookie. He's not going to have a high rating. All right, we, we got a duplicate. We got a duplicate Tyrese Maxey. I'm going to go right by that. Next player, another Magic point guard, RJ Hampton. I'm not going to take him. I think you might know why. He's not bad, but he's not going to fit the team. Oh, my goodness. We got our star player, Luka Doncic. We got a massive pull. So, right now, we have Donovan Mitchell, Anthony Edwards, and now Luka Doncic. I know three guards. Anthony Edwards might get traded, but we have three guards right now. All scorers, too. But you got Luka on your team. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We now have three players on our team. Next player is going to be Desmond Bain. Now, this is a tough one because in 2K, he's at like a 79-80 overall. But his shot tendency is so low. And he is a sniper from downtown and... He's just really good, but I'm not going to take him just for the fact that his tendencies in 2K are god-awful. God, god-awful. Next player, another another duplicate, Jeremy Grant. I'm not going to take him. And a duplicate, Donovan Mitchell. All right, we got like three duplicates in that pack. We are not. We only had three players, so I, I need to pick seven out of the 15 in this pack. So I'm going to be taking a lot of them. All right, last pack, first player, our third Tyrese Maxey. Not going to take him. Not going to take him. Next player is going to be another Desmond Bain. This is not going well. Maybe I should have bought more packs. Maybe I should have bought more packs. All right, let's keep going. Oh, my God. I Kevin Durant, KD, Slenderman. We get Kevin Durant. The Slim Reaper. We're definitely taking it. We get a forward finally on our team. Thank, that's a cool card design too. Thank goodness we stopped. And we did not, you know, settle for any of these guys. Let's go. And we get Chris Middleton. Big contract, but I will be taking Chris Middleton. Another forward. We kind of need a big. Because we have three guards and now two small forward. I guess you can make Middleton a power forward. I don't think he can play. I'd play KD at power forward. So... Right now, we have five players. We'd have to play KD at the center. I mean, it's possible, but he, he, not very well. But we're going to get Peyton Pritchard from the Boston Celtics. Now, I'm trying to do the math in my head. We had to pick seven players. So that means we could throw away eight of them. Right? Yeah, eight. So eight players we can toss away. We have to pick seven. So Peyton Pritchard, I'm sorry. I hate the Celtics as a Heat fan. But I'm going to toss you to the side. We're not going to pick you up. And we're going to get Patrick Williams. You know what? I'm actually going to take Patrick Williams. He's a big man. He's a power forward, young, amazing at defense. If we don't end up trading him, we can at least play him off the bench. So I am going to take Patrick Williams. Our next player is going to be RJ Barrett. Oh, wait, no, that's not RJ Barrett. Oh, my God. That's Emmanuel Quickly. At first, I saw he looked like RJ Barrett here, man. Emmanuel Quickly, we are not going to take Quickly. We don't need any more guards. I need a center. I need a center here, so I'm hoping this is going to be a center. It is not. It is Malachi Flynn. Definitely not taking him. That is now five players tossed to the side. We have, I believe, what? One, two, three, four, five. We have six, so we need four more players for our team. Let's see. And another Cole Anthony. Oh, my goodness. Nope, we're not taking him. We're not taking him. We might need to take one of these cards at some point. If... We don't get the 10 cards. I will take at least maybe one of the duplicates, seeing that we've gotten like eight of them. Next player, Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin. I'm not going to look at the cards yet, but I let me see how many I have. I'm going to look at you. One, two, three, four. I believe we have five cards left. We have five cards left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six players. So if I don't take Obi, I can only I have to take five or right four out of the five cards remaining so he is a big man he has a power forward he might have some value even though he's been a slight bust so far i don't know if i just because he's a big man and a power forward and he might have some value as a second year player i'm gonna take obi toppin now that means we now have one two one two three four five six seven players we need three more out of one two three four five we need three more out of these next five so that means we can only discard two and we have to take the rest the next player 
Oh my goodness, we get LeBron James to play for our team. That's it. We already have a God Squad. We have Luka, KD, Donovan Mitchell, and LeBron James all on the same team. We don't have a center, but we have Anthony Edwards who we can trade for a center. So that is amazing. We got LeBron James to the team. That gives us what? Our eighth player. We need to pick two more. Next player is going to be... Damian Lillard, another guard. I am definitely taking him because I'd be stupid not to. But Damian Lillard, we got out of our next three cards, we have to pick one more. We have nine players. I might make it 11. I don't know. We'll see. But we have Damian Lillard. Who else are we going to get? Another guard. It's Devin Booker. I don't think I'm going to take him, though. We have way too many guards on this team. I can't take Dam I can't take Devin Booker. I can't take Devin Booker. I'm sorry, D-Book. I need a center here. We haven't pulled a single center out of all these cards. Not one. Like, Jeremy Grant was the closest we got. I'm sorry, D-Book. I want to pick you, but I can't pick you, buddy. I have to put D-Book to the side. Never thought I'd say that. Last two cards here. If we don't get a center out of these, then we'll be very disappointed. I can't pass this guy up. I can't pass this guy. We just got Steph Curry. Half our team are guards, but Steph Curry, Dame Don... Wow, this is this is juice. This second pack was juice. We're taking Steph Curry. That's our 10. The last player was actually RJ Barrett, who I mistaken Emmanuel quickly for. But that is going to be our 10. We didn't pull a single center out of all those packs, out of both those packs. 30 cards, not a single center. All right, and to recap our team, we have Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, LeBron James, Obi Toppin, Patrick Williams, Chris Middleton, Kevin Durant, Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, and Anthony Edwards. That is our 10-man rotation. Now, even though our team is completely stacked, I will need to make trades without a doubt. No matter what. Like, Damian Lillard, probably, he might not be safe because... Running a Steph Dame backcourt, even though it's 2K, might not be the smartest, but we we had need a big man. So the three players that are definitely safe is Curry, KD, LeBron, and Doncic. I'm sorry, Doncic. Those are the four players that are completely safe. Everyone else, not safe. So I'm going to make the roster in 2K, and we'll get into it. All right, we are here in the My NBA, and I put them all on my favorite team, the Miami Heat. And if you're wondering what happened to all the players on the Heat, I'm not sure if they're still going to be there. But I did make them all free agents. They were not taken. So as we simulate through the season, they will be picked up. But I did make them all free agents, so they will be somewhere else. But here's our roster. I believe it was just filled out because obviously we didn't have enough players. Um, yeah. So they added Willie Conley, sign all these all these centers that we needed. That I'm not gonna. They're, they're not gonna play for us. We're just gonna have our 10 man rotation. I'm actually. No, 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 I'm not going to get, I'm not going to move their position now because I want to see what our rotation would look like uh, without him. But Obi Toppin would probably be our center. If not, it'd be KD or LeBron, probably LeBron. But this is our team to start with. Doncic is not going to be our point guard. Steph Curry is going to be. Um, LeBron is a power forward. KD is a power forward. That means we, we might have to, we're probably going to trade Dame, honestly. So I'm going to move Doncic to a shooting guard. I actually like making their backup positions correct. So we're going to make Doncic a shooting guard slash point guard. Um, Donovan's going to stay where he is. I'm not sure if we're going to keep him or not. Ant, I think he's, yeah, he's the highest at small forward. Middleton, highest, yep. And LeBron, we're going to have him play our small forward probably. Yeah, we're going to have, Le I don't know, do I want KD or LeBron playing? I'm probably going to have KD playing our small forward instead of LeBron. I mean, it's, yeah, instead of LeBron. I'll put LeBron's backup as small forward. Um, other than that, I think P. Will stays the same. So there we go. And now, here comes the fun part. So Dame's probably going to be traded. Um, sadly, D. Mitch might be, might not be. He could be our sixth man. But I do want to bring in a top tier center. And there are no untouchables in this world. So I can trade for anyone. So if we go to, um, can I go to Player Finder? Where is that? I don't even know where that stuff is. Uh, Player Finder. There it is. So we go to Player Finder and we go to Centers. Obviously, Jokic is there. We might be able to get Jokic. I don't know if we can. Um, Jokic and Bede is definitely on my target list. So, Embiid is going to be number one. Anthony Davis, Bam's a free agent. So, I'm going to sim. Um, 
up to this box game i'm gonna simulate through date to see if most of those players are signed so we might be able to trade for them uh they should be signed yeah most of them are signed i mean hero's not signed i don't think we're gonna trade for him but bam was signed so i'm gonna go into scouting i'm gonna add a few centers and see where we can go all right i have Embiid, bam anthony davis and Jokic on our target list i'm probably gonna try Embiid and Jokic first and if those fail we'll go to ad or bam i'm very confident we can get either bam or ad but mainly i kind of want Joel. so i'm gonna try maybe a dame package if not donovan mitchell to try and get um Embiid. first i'm gonna try and trade for all right, Damon and Bede have very similar values, obviously. Um, do I want to give Anthony Edwards up in this trade? I don't think so. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot salary cap still a thing, so we can't give Chris Middleton in this trade. We can give Obi Ta He only has two stars. Yikes, yikes, yikes. How about Patrick Williams? He has two and a half, but they require seven more than allowed. See, that's the thing. The contracts are going to be bad in here because we have so many big contracts. Is that gonna that's not gonna work oh this is not this might not work they're gonna need to acquire five yeah that's not going through is it nope what happens if i throw in a second wait i take a second I'm not gonna take a second unless i make more trades i don't think we're gonna get this trade to go but i'll keep trying actually i'm gonna trade finder um dame to see what pops up i doubt anything good yeah no nothing not a single one of these trades is worth it Wow, not a single. These are all terrible trades for Damian Lillard. Cat is like the only center that pops up, and he's not the type of center I want. What about um Anthony Edwards and Donovan Mitchell? Nope. Okay, not too big of a package. Gotcha. What about just Ant in general? Can we get anyone? We get Cat still. I don't know why Ant's got slightly better offers than Dame did. Probably because of Dame's contract, though. To be honest with you, so. The MB trade might be dead. I don't think it is. I'm going to try and go for one of these easy. I know. I kind of, I really want you well. So I'm going to try my best to see if I can get anyone better. All right. See, the problem I'm running into here is the fact that no team has money. I'll throw, uh, yeah, like no team has any money for me to be able to toss in most of these players. Like, yeah, they, they take up too much space. I mean, Taylor and Horton Tucker, I guess. But is that yeah, see even that doesn't go through. What was if I put if I put ant, it's not gonna be enough. We're, like we're gonna be down 22 mil. That's a tough thing. That's why I don't think I'm gonna be able to get most of these centers. Like bam, definitely. I can definitely get bam. But when it comes to players like Dame, this contract's so big. Where I don't think anyone's gonna be able to give me anything for him. I mean Paul George. But I need a center badly. And I don't know if Dame's going to get me that. That's the thing. Like, he's, he's only at 90 in 2K right now. So, do I risk trading one of my top players? I don't know. I don't want to get rid of Curry. I don't want to get rid of Donjits either. But we have so many score-heavy players. Curry's not... Oh, he does bring in offers. That's kind of surprising. I don't want to trade Steph Curry though. It's Steph Curry. Like the they don't the Sixers don't even give. I'll figure something out. I'll come back when I have a trade. All right, I might have something here. I'm giving up Ant and Dame, but oh, they're not gonna take this, are they? They ain't no way. There's no way you're not taking this. There's no way you're not taking this deal. Oh my goodness, how do you not take this offer? How do they not take this offer? I don't have any picks too to trade. Maybe I tra do I trade these young players for better picks? I might need to. I'm gonna try Jokic again. That's not gonna work. I know for a fact. If it didn't work for um Embiid, it's not gonna work for Jokic. 17 mil. Uh, Will Barton probably has no value. And then I'll do this. Oh, that has to go through. Wow. All right. Now I'm gonna do. I am going to trade these guys for picks. So, Obi Toppin, let's see what kind of picks you can get us, because Patrick Williams has more value than you anyways. Can you get us two, well, you're probably not going to get us two first round picks, because we have no players on our roster. No, no, you're not, there's no picks at all? Really? Really? No picks? 
that, that's kind of surprising. It's kind of surprising. Not gonna lie, this is somewhat surprising. I'm not giving up a first round pick for a first round pick. That doesn't make sense. Wow, not a single pick, huh? No one wants to give me a first. That's kind of hard to believe. Uh, what if I threw in these guys? I know I shouldn't because they're not part of my team. But even then, that doesn't throw in a first round pick. Hold on. I'm going to sign a bunch of guys in free agency. Um, just to fill out our roster so we can sign guys. I don't I don't care who I sign. I just want to sign someone cheap. Like Joe Johnson. Hey, yo, Joe Johnson, you want to come to the team? Yeah, let's go. Um, this guy, yeah, you, you want to come? Oh, my roster's full. All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Now, can I trade him for first-round picks? I doubt it. Let's see. Patrick Williams, what can you get me? You have good trade value, buddy. You have good trade value. All this just to get a... Wow, not a pick. I can't get picks. I can't get... All right. Now, I'm just going to look for a young player making less with more value. Miles Bridges has the same value somehow. Doesn't make much sense. Miles Bridges is the better player. This is not going as I planned. Oh, the Blazers want to give us a first-round pick for Joe Johnson. Bet. That worked out well. That worked out very well. All right. So now, what if I were to trade um, Damian Lillard, Anthony Edwards, and a first? That first we got for the Blazers. Not a single thing. Okay. All right. I gotcha. Maybe I should try and trade not Ant. Let's let's try Ant P. Williams and top nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try and trade these two then and see what we can get. All right, we just traded Patrick Williams for Miles Bridges. Uh, Miles is obviously a high overall. I want to see does he go up? He does not go up a small forward, but I will move him to that. And I'm gonna throw him in the MB trade to see if that will work. I doubt it. They do not have a small forward though, so maybe that will work. We're gonna put Dame. We're gonna put Miles Bridges now um what do you guys need to make up five mil they didn't make up five mil cork moss is not going to get it done is he oh he does get it done now we'll throw in the picks that we have all like four of them so come on that has to that doesn't why 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 i have to throw an ant are you telling me i'm gonna have to throw an ant they'll make up nine mil you gotta make up nine mil you got danny green here that doesn't... Okay. I think Embiid's off the table. I can't put together a better package than this. I There's literally not a better package I can put together. I can... Obi Toppin just doesn't have enough value. Yeah, it's not even, it's not even close. I, I can't put together a better package than this. So, Embiid's off the table. Alright, if they don't accept this... I, yeah, I, it's not much I can do. Not much I can do here. And yep, we this is our best trade offer we can put together, and it's not going to be able to, it's not enough to get these guys. So they're off the table. This might be able to get AD, which I'm fine with. Um, getting Anthony Davis. Did that just say? Yep, Jimmy Butler's on the Nets now. Okay, so much for that. Uh, we can get Anthony Davis. I'm probably not going to trade all of this for him though. Like Anthony Edwards, I don't want to give him up in that 400k. They'd make they only give up 400k. So, get give me Mel has three stars. Really, Mel has three star value. Okay, didn't expect that. This has to go through. What? How? There is no way. That's not going through 2k. You're you're tripping. You're tripping. You are tripping. You are indeed trip. You are tripping. You're. I am not giving up both these guys. There is no way I'm giving up Ant and Dame for Anthony Davis. It's just not happening. There's no way I'm doing that. There is no way I'm giving up both of them for those guys. Maybe I try Donovan in these trades. Maybe I should try Donovan. Oh, his con no, his contract is kicked in. The Heat would acquire one mil more than allowed. Um... Oh, we need to get rid of a mill. Oh, so get, get Kendrick Nunn out of this trade then. Uh, who do we have? They signed Myers Leonard. Bet that's not happening. Nope, nope, nothing. Wow, this is, I don't, I think we're going to have to settle for BAM, which is not settling, but I don't know how those trades did not go through. I can't, I, it's, it's interesting. I don't know how none of those trades went through. 
We're going to trade for Bam out of bio, I guess. But I'm not giving up Dame for Bam. I'll give up Chris Middleton, but they don't have the money for that. I don't want to give up Donovan for Bam. I'll tell you that much. That is not happening. Miles Bridges. The Heat would acquire three mil more. Yeah, I know. Then Obi Toppin. The Hawks would acquire three mil now. Jesus Christ, these dudes are in cap hell. Kevin Knox. How? Now we're acquiring money, huh? This is insanity. This is insanity. Lou Will. What? 200. You're telling me you ain't got. You ain't got like 200K. Just chilling. There we go. And then I'll throw in first round picks. This gotta go through, right? Nope. Not going. Nope. Nope. Not going through. Nope. Nothing. Nothing really. Okay. We're not interested. Wow. Wow. Are you going to make me give up Dame for Bam? Even then, they're not even going to have the money for it. This has gone terrible. All right, I'm going to try and get Rudy Gobert here. There's no way you wouldn't take Chris Middleton for Rudy Gobert. You, okay, 2K, you are on some sort of drugs right now. There, you are on, what drugs are you on right now? There is no way you don't take this trade. I'm about to overpay for Rudy Gobert. I'm about to overpay for Rudy Gobert. There's no way you don't take this trade. I'm appalled. If you're offered Chris Middleton, Obi Toppin, and four first round picks for Rudy Gobert, I'm taking that trade. This is absurd. Take Miles Bridges, I guess. What, what's your problem? A mill. Give me Elijah Hughes and another first. Thank God that we just overpaid the hell out of the Jazz because I wanted a defensive center. And I couldn't trade Middleton for Bam because I'd rather have Bam because his contract was too big. But we now have a center on the team, thankfully. So we got Curry, Mitchell, Dur do they have, why do they have Luka on the bench when he's an actual shooting guard? That doesn't make sense. Um, So if we move Luka there, we still got Dame on the team. Right now, this is a solid team. That's the only trade I made. It's just a bench. We have Donovan, Dame, Ant, and then no one else. So I'm probably going to trade Ant for a backup small forward and center combo. And I might run it like this, to be honest. I mean, this team might be 82-0. So Ant, I'm going to trade and in hopes I can get some sort of small forward, power forward combo. And then these guys aren't even going to play. I can throw in Elijah Hughes in the trade. All right, this trade was too good to pass up. I mean, I'm now thinking about it. I gave up a lot. Rudy Gobert just knowing I could have done this. I don't know why. I can't remember. We we're just not going to talk about it. And we're going to get Bam out of bio to come off our bench. Now we're going to trade the players we got in that trade, which was Kevin Knox and a first round pick and try and get a small forward for our bench. And then we'll be set. Like John Conchar might be fine. Rudy Gay, move him to a small forward. Could, could be chilling. Honestly, I'd be fine with that. But right now, I Herbert Jones. I don't know who Herbert Jones is, but uh, Garrison, I made good small forwards over here, to be honest with you. Tony Snell, no, 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 not very good small forwards at all. Um, John Conchar might be, might be the player here, because there's no one else. No one else. You know, I have these players on my team. I'm going to trade them. I mean, let's be honest here. I have them here. I might as well trade them. See if I can get something better. I'm probably not. Like, right now, I take Rudy Gay. Over. Mellow and none. I take Mellow. I take Mellow and move him to a small forward. What if I do this? Oh, they don't have enough money. Two mil. They'd acquire two mil extra. So they need to do this trade. All right, I'll do that trade. I'm fine with that trade. I'll take Mellow as a backup small forward. Because none of these other trades are good. And then I'll trade. I'm just going to trade Kendrick Nunn maybe back to them because I don't need him. I don't need Kendrick Nunn on this team. So we're going to trade Kendrick Nunn. Can I just trade him back for like nothing? Yeah, I'll trade him back for Kevin Knox at a first. Yep, okay. So it's like we traded straight up for Melo. So I am fine with that. And we have our final roster. I'm just going to move Melo to a small forward. So he's actually coming off our bench as a small forward. And so we have not Donovan Mitchell at the two. I can tell you that much. Um, Steph Curry, Luka, Kevin Durant, LeBron, Rudy Gobert. We have Donovan Mitchell, 
um, Damian Lillard, Bam Adebayo, and Carmelo Anthony off our bench. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this team might go 82 and 0. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say. I want everyone getting about the same amount of minutes in the starting lineup, besides Rudy Gobert, because I don't like him. Um, we'll give we'll give 21, 21, and then we'll give the rest to Melo, I guess, 14. And that's it. I'm gonna start simulating. I'll see you at the end of the season. We finished the season. We did lose by three to the Nets. We lost by 22 to the Bucks. We took Middleton away from the two. Who did they sign? They didn't. I don't think they even signed anyone. I mean, still Giannis, who just won the MVP. So that makes sense. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Kevin Love, Sixth Man of the Year. Um, Defense Player of the Year, Giannis and Eric Spolstra, 65 and 17, 99 overall. We're probably not going to get anyone on all NBA teams besides, I guess, LeBron, who put up all round stats because no one actually showed out because we have so many good players on our teams. Wish I could add Embiid, but I mean, can't have everything. Uh, we're going to have LeBron and Rudy on the all defensive teams. Um, Drew Holiday must have had a good season. He actually did. He doesn't play well in 2K. Uh, we had no rookies on our teams. I don't think we had a rookie at all. So. I forgot they had the play-in. The Warriors actually made it as a play-in, and so did the Lakers. The Jazz were the eighth seed. We are obviously the one seed. We'll be facing the Wizards, Bulls, Pacers, or Sixers. I don't like that the Sixers are a play-in team. That's the only team I'm worried about. We already saw the um, stats halfway through the season. Dodge just went back up to 20. Other than that, stats stood about the same. Let's simulate the play-in. The Sixers did not make it. We are taking on the Bulls, who are another really good team. Lonzo, Levine, DeMar, they traded for Draymond. Oh, they traded Fuchovic for Draymond? That's not a good trade, to be honest. That's actually a pretty bad trade. The Warriors ended up making the playoffs. They have Isaiah Thomas as their starting point guard. He's playing good. 17 a game. And they had traded for Vucevic. Um, I guess Wiseman's coming off the bench now? Yeah, he's coming off the bench. Alright, so we're taking on the Bulls here. The Nets were the two seed. Let's just simulate round. I don't see us losing. We lost the game there. The six-seeded Cavs beat the Bucks. Um, right now, we're taking on the Boston Celtics, who took out the Hawks. Schroeder, their team is exactly the same. They added De'Anthony Melton, though. Um, so that's something. But I think we should dominate this team. I might just hit simulate round. And we sweep them in. Here is the matchup. The Nets are undefeated. And we have only lost one game. Heat, Nets, James Harden, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler. who have, He's averaging 29 in the playoffs. Paul Millsap and Marcus Aldridge, they traded for Fournier. This is a really good team against our, obviously. So, like, this should be a walk in the park, right? Game one, we lose. Mellow man, I'll take you out of the rotation, buddy. No way, no reason we should have lost that game. 1-1, one, one, we dominated them in this game. Donovan Mitchell drops 26. Uh, who do we have on these guys? Obviously, we have Curry. We have Durant. On Jimmy, which honestly I might put LeBron on him, Doncic on Harden, and then Curry on Kyrie. Honestly, nah, I can't. I can't run Doncic at the power forward. I was gonna run Doncic at the power forward, and then Durant. At, yeah, but I'm gonna move Durant to the power forward and have LeBron guard Jimmy. I'm um, simply through game. That did nothing. Okay, we're down two one. Jimmy Butler drops twenty seven. KD drops twenty six. If we go down three one, this is okay. We win. We blow him out. Kyrie had 36. Jimmy had a triple-double still. So they're still dominating, but this, this should not even be close. Honestly, I'm going to change the minutes around because I don't know why this happened. Why it's all messed up like this. Mel, you're going to get like eight minutes. Um, Dame, you're going to go down a bit. And then we're going to give two to each of our big-time players. Simulate through day, and we win another blow another 150 point game 327 point scorers 520 or more lebron had a bad game but he got the assist that's all that matters no one's getting clamped out of this big three this big three is playing amazing simulate through game and we win in six only by three though once again this big three played a oh wait that's even four no never mind harden had a bad he didn't even have a bad game damian literally came up clutch in this one and it is going to be, obviously, the Pelicans. Uh, 2K just has a hard-on for the Pelicans, bro. They did bring in Mitchell Robinson, but this should be a sweep, bro. We win in five. Kevin Durant is your finals MVP. Uh, player stats for the playoffs. Curry averaged 22. 
Durant 21, Doncic 19, LeBron 19, 16, 14, and 8. Same thing as the regular season, basically. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.